Welcome back friends. This is Ramesh Sharma here. So today in this video we are going to create a simple box image slider but this one is a creative one using HTML and CSS. So you can see that we have these five images and all the images are in the inline format and is in the tilted format. So you can see that we have the skew here so that is tilt here and here also. So now you can see that when I am hovering on any uh, image, so the image is expanding. So you can see that. So now when I will hover on this one, you can see that we have the image in the expanding format. So now you can see that we have a caption also here. So we are going to render this caption as well. So whenever we are hovering on any other image. And one thing you can also see that when I am hovering on any image, so the lightning of the image is also changing. Previously it was dark and now it is getting lightened up. So now this thing we are going to create with the help of HTML and CSS only without wasting any time. Let's get into the coding section and let's start with this. This is our empty coding section here. So you can see that the folder is empty and I have opened the empty folder in the VS code. So now here we are going to create two files. First one will be index.html and second one will be style.css. So now let's go to the index.html and create default HTML snippet. And here we are going to write the title as box slider using HTML CSS and now here just hello world will be the hello world save this and now just link the CSS file and that will be style.css as it is in the same folder so that's why just writing style.css and here just remove the margin for all default margin and default padding and after that box sizing will be border box and font family we are going to use open sans so just save this one and copy the path of html file just go to the browser and here refresh it paste this one in the url and press enter so now you are getting hello world here so this is working perfectly css is connected now let's create the structure of the code first, structure of the application first and then we are going to add the CSS. So here the structure is very good. So let's create a container first and then we are going to create a row and after that here we are going to create a simple h1 tag so that is our simple heading will be there. And that will be box slider using HTML CSS or HTML CSS box slider. And after that, here we have to create a box slider here. So for that, we are going to follow this type of structure here. But instead of this caption, uh, with the caption, we are also having the image link here. So I have already created this. Just copy this one and paste it here. So now you can see that we have this div with box slider class and we have five divs here. So five sub divs. So you can see that we have these five sub div. So all divs are same here. So with p tag we have the class as info for our caption of the image and then we have this image. And you will get all the links in the video description for all the images. Don't worry about that. So you can check out the description below. So now just save this one, go to this browser here and just refresh the browser. So you will get everything here, structure is ready. So now let's move forward and let's create the CSS for this. So now let's make this beautiful here. So let's go back and here first of all we are going to go for the container. So container and here we will be having the height, height as 100 vh. So 100 vh will be the height so that means a visible height will be 100 and width will be 100 percent and then we are going to the row so container dot row or we can just 
go for the row only so as you can see here we have the row here so we have the row so we are going to go for that for this one we will be having height as 100 percent and we have the height as 100 percent and width will be 100 percent so now let's move towards the heading so we will be having the container dot row and then we will be having the heading so here what we want here so first of all we need its width so width will be 100 percent and text align we need to a center and after that we need padding 20 pixel from top and bottom and zero uh, from left and right and after that uh, we need to add the font size so font size will be 2.5 rem and font weight will be bold now just test it uh, so go here back and just refresh it so now you can see that we are getting like this this is beautiful so now uh, we have to set our this box slider here so now let's style this box slider so now let's go back to the coding section and here we will now target the box slider here so i'm going to copy this css class so here we are going to write container and then we have row and after that we have box slider so first its position will be relative and after that we need height as 85 percent and width as 100 percent so 100 percent width will be there and now we need the padding as well here so padding will be 50 pixel from top and bottom and 80 pixel from left and right and after that we need the display as flex so display flex will be there so now just save this so let's go back here and refresh this so you will get this one like this so but its width is not good so for that we have to set the width as well so now how we are going to set the width so we have to set the width of image so now you can see that here uh, we have the box slider and under that we have images here and every image uh, every image container is having image class img class so we are going to target this class only so first dot container and then dot row and after that dot box slider and then we have the image here so here what we have to do here so first of all it's height we need as 100 percent width we don't need a, this one as 100 percent here so here we will use the calculation here and what the calculation will be there so from the 100 percent of the width so we are going to divide it by five so why we are going to divide it by five because we are going to create five images so we have five images so that's why i'm going to divide it with five so 100 percent width will be divided by five and that width will be allotted to this image so if i will be having three images i will divide it by three so it will automatically divide the widths so just save this and go here reload this so now you can see the change so you can see the change we have a good width but you can see that this its width is not very good so this is because our this one is uh, overflowing so our image is overflowing it is going outside the deal so how to remove this overflow so here what we are going to do so we are going to set as overflow hidden overflow hidden uh, yeah just save this and reload it so now you can see that overflow is hidden and now it's looking good so now uh, what we have to do so we have to add some spaces and we have to add a tilt here and you can see that we have some spaces here and we have tilt so this tilt we have to add and after that we have to add some overlay so now let's do that so for that what we are going to do so for the gap here we are going to set the gap here in the box slider so gap will be of 15 pixel and after that we need the tilt so tilt we are going to uh, make it using transform skew and on the x-axis we will be having a 5 degrees 
killed here. So now uh, when we will see here and just reload this. Now you can see that we have this very good tilt and we have 15 pixel of gap. So that is very great. And one more thing we have to do here. So uh, here we have to add the overlay. So now let's add that overlay here. So image before. So we have the before here and what we are going to do. So first of all, its position will be absolute and we have to set the content. So content will be null like this we want and here we want left zero right zero we don't have to add any skew here because overlo uh, overflow is hidden already uh, now height 100 percent width 100 percent and after that background so background oval is there just save it and now reload this so you can see that we have a background overlay as well so this overlay is actually you can uh, see that we have the text uh, text here uh, that's why it is not looking good from top but don't worry so this will be uh, done by CSS so it will be a beautiful one so uh, we will make this like this one here like when user will uh, hover on it and at the bottom our that overlay will come uh, that info will come this one text so here what we are going to do here now first of all we have to set the image so let's set that first and here we will be having the image and we need height 100 percent width 100 percent and object will be object fit will be a cover here so now reload this so now you can see that these images are looking very good so now uh, let's move forward and let's deal with this text here so let's deal with that so for that you can see that we have the class here so that class is info just copy this so we are going to use this class so dot container dot container and under that we have the info here so first of all its position will be absolute and here uh, we need width to 100% and after that what we are going to do so bottom to uh, zero so bottom zero as position will be absolute and because we have position relative for this dot image so dot image we want position as relative also so we have this position relative for the dot image so this dot absolute will work very good so here we don't need any skew and color will be black so color black we want so let's set the background here so background will be rgba 25 and this one will also be 25 25 and alpha will be 0 0.9 just save this and reload this so now you can see that we have like this here now we need some padding as well so padding from top and bottom like 20 pixel and from left and right zero now it's also looking good so but uh, you can see that this tilt is not there so we have to remove this skew x and reload this now you can see that now it's looking more good but uh, we don't want this text for now what we want uh, so I'm going to remove this so here bottom will be minus 100% and here we need the transition as well so transition 0 0.3 second linear and we have this info here and whenever so just save this so now you can see like that so whenever we will hover on this so we want that like our this tag should come up so for that what we are going to do so I'm going to copy this so here we are going to write on the hover of the image hover so on the hover of the image we will deal with dot info so its bottom will be zero so we have transition here so 
it will not directly come so it will take little delay means it will take a transition to come up just save this so when i am hovering on it so now you can see that we have this one here. so it's looking very great and let's add little you can see that now this white color is uh, transparent so we have little transparency in the background so now last thing is that so we have to expand this so we have to expand this on the hover so how we can do that so for that what we have to do so on the hover of the image on the hover we need so we need to change the width so width will be calculation 100% divided by 2 so just reload this so now you can see here so but it's not very good so here 0 0.5 now you can see that it's looking good so it's looking good but you can see that we don't have any transition here and that is looking so weird so now how we can uh, add the transition so we have to go here and here we have to add the transition 0 0.3 second linear just save this now reload this so now you can see the transition here so it's looking very great so now our box slider is completed successfully so i will leave the link for the source code in the video description so if you like this video please like it share it and subscribe my channel so at last thanks for watching if you have any queries please comment in one section i will def definitely respond to that so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video